Guys, at the zoo. It's quite the time. And the queue is immense. Well, and it would be, because it's such a nice day. But on the plus side, I don't have the queue. Because the members' gate's open. That's where I'm going. It's going to be busy, man. Alright, guys, I'm in. A lot quicker than the main entrance. One of the main reasons I'm here today is to see Big Five Ocean. Oh, you get a little map and you have to find all the Lego creatures. That's quite cool. As you come in off the members entrance, there is one right in front of you. It's very cool. Oh, there's three. Okay. So, look at it. Look. That's quite cool. So it took four builders, 500 hours, and it contained 76, over 76,000 bricks. Wow, okay. We have Hammer Shark over here. It took three builders, 250 hours, a bit smaller, over 63,000. It's cool though, man. I must say, there's a lovely breeze blowing about. It is very nice. And I'm now wearing flip-flops, rather than trainers. So cool. Another one. Two builders, 320 hours, over 26,000. And there's a penguin right behind it. Let me go and see the penguin in a second. Here's a little rock hopper. Doesn't really tell you much about him. There's no sign. <coughs> Big tell it's a rock copper by the uh, yellow ears. That's quite cool. So, on the map, you can see, okay, on the back, so at the bottom it says, when a family passed Edinburgh Zoo, how many bricks were used for the life-size orca model? We haven't found him yet, but you have all these questions to answer. Which is quite cool. Alright guys, fall down. And don't have loads to go. There's loads. Oh, there's a marquee in the middle. So, I don't think I can go in there. I think that's for kids. We'll try and get a crash. Oh, there's one up there. The killer whale. I put my flip flops on. I wish I hadn't now because I've got sore feet already. It doesn't bode well for when we go to Florida. So, this is the orca. This is the need to know how many bricks are in this one to win the prize. Now, does it tell you? That's the question. If it did tell you, it would be pointless. <laughs> Let's find out. See? Alright, oh, okay. One orca. It's big, man. There's a the sign. Bricks. Question mark. So he's a big boy. So is the ray. But he's bigger than the ray. Does it count the bricks that are just on the side? Hmm. Interesting. How many bricks? people think are in that. Now is it just the orca or is it the water and the baby orca? Okay so the question was how many bricks are in that? Going by the size of it it's got to be 200,000 more I can't enter because I'm not a family and I'm not a child. <laughs> but just out of curiosity guys, you've seen it. Comment below on how many bricks are in it. And we'll see. Because I'm guessing they'll announce it when it when it does run out. Um yeah. But it's beautiful today. Okay, so behind me is the jungle food court. I will show you that a bit later, if I can do. If it gets busy, I'll try and... Oh, it might, it's not open yet, but I'll try and give you an idea of prizes. There's a penny pressing machine outside, which is quite cool. 
There's also a sink. So you can wash your hands if you've been playing. Which is also very cool. There's also another cafe the other side. So we'll get to that one as well in a second for you. Okay, so there's three reasons I'm here today. Four reasons. Lego, to see the big life. See any baby bang bangs? Two. The new panda enclosure? Three. And hopefully the new bird enclosure is open, which has been coming for quite a while. So, and anything else we, we should find out which is new. So there's quite a few gnats and bits about because the weather is ridiculously warm. Very cool though. Very, very cool. Okay, this one behind me. This used to be the American Eagle enclosure. It's not got monkeys in it. But it's very warm, so I think it's sitting in the shade, so I didn't see any. So the first bit, well, the second part I want to do, um, is you want to see the baby penguins. Because I do love the baby penguins. And then we'll go up to the panda enclosure, if that's open, because that's right at the top of the zoo now. And there's zebra planes. Okay, bit of um, information about the brick life. It's from the 6th of July, so it's already started, to the 9th of September. And it is included free in your admission. They are all over the zoo. I keep finding them. Here's another one. See, look, he's got 19,000 bricks in it. That orc has got to have more bricks than that. Hmm, interesting. Penguins! Oh, and it, I would tell you what, I wish this camera had some other vision because it stinks. Oh, stretch. So cute. He's having a oh, he's having a wee lie down. He's having a sunbathe in the sunshine. Feeling time at the zoo. That must stink. I love the penguins. Let's go and see where my rhino is. I bet it's inside. Very warm. I think I should have put some foundation on today. Oh well. 
Oh dear. Silly me. Wow, there's two binos. What's one of them come to zoo? I've only seen one. One. Sorry, I'm going to steps. There's two. Oh, I'm so pleased. That means he's got a friend. It could be his mum, it, it could be his girlfriend. But I'm so happy. He's got a friend to play with. That's exciting. Even though his friend's actually sleeping at the moment. Which I'll show you now. Look. He wants to play. And oh no, he's only lying down too. Oh, okay. It is very warm though. He's normally very energetic. It must be too hot for him. That's okay. Puff him what guys? 41,000 bricks. Tell you what, keep going, where's that orca? It's massive. It's very cool though. They took 110 hours. There's also a rock hopper as well. Now you notice on a previous vlog we actually saw some real life puffins in the world. When I was on the boat tour, which is quite cool. Stella the sea lion is next. There we go. 57,000. So, yeah. Orca's got to be close to half a million bricks, I reckon now. Going by the size of this one. Hmm, interesting. Okay, if you look over here, guys, this is the other restaurant, the Grasslands. This has a menu outside, so let's go and see the menu for you and give you an idea. Then you have the mansion, end of a mansion. You can actually get married here. And when we were planning, looking to get married, we actually came here for a tour. It was beautiful. The venue was absolutely amazing. But there's no place for people to stop. That's the thing, you know? Where can you stop? There's nowhere. Which is why we decided again to get married here. Okay. This is not open yet, I don't think. No, but the zoo's only been open 25 minutes. But this is the menu for it. So you can bring a picnic to the zoo because food can be expensive if you have a family but you cannot bring picnic food into the restaurant makes sense doesn't it completely fair i agree this is the wee business section been in there before so i'm not going to go in there again today so my next stop for you guys bear in mind if i don't see any new lego is to go and see the new panda enclosure and see if it's open Hope so, it's the top of the hill and my legs are sore already. Okay, one thing you need to be careful of guys, because obviously it is a work in so vehicles do roam the paths. And they are wide enough for a truck and people. But be warned. Look at these, I've not seen these before. I think. Hello. Focus camera. Focus. Oh, they're so cute. They're like giant cows. I suppose that's what they are. They've just been fed. They are from Cambodia, so they'll be used to this warm heat that we're getting today. Hello. More like a bit live. Tell you something, I love putting these little rock up penguins everywhere. There's another one. Oh, it's a little quiz. Oh, now I understand. So every rock up penguin you see, there's a little answer, there's a little trivia. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, there's the turtle. He's not been moved for years. He's not real, obviously. Up the path. Now it said this way to the new zebra enclosure, not zebra. Panda enclosure. So I'm hoping it's open for you guys to see. And hoping Yang Yang in whatever his name is. I'm out in the sunshine. 
thing that Edinburgh do do, right? The zoo do do. Okay. Edinburgh zoo do 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 do. You can become a keeper for the day. I've seen a few kids do that. I don't know how much this costs, but what I'll do, I'll, I'll get actually to put a link in below. We also do a feed of the day. And today, the feed of the day is the wild cat. Now, I've never seen this wild cat in all the times I've been to the zoo, which is quite a few. So I hope the keepers know where to find it because uh, I couldn't find it, but I suppose they are pros. So, okay, new road. This is what the relay and last time I moaned about it because you could still walk up here and the road was shut. So it looks like the, the panda enclosure may be open. Fingers crossed. This is quite cool guys. It says how wild is Scotland and what Scotland looked like in the past. What it's looking like now, okay. But the one good thing about us being members of the zoo, we also get entrance to the wildlife park, which is up north. We haven't done it yet, so we, we need to do this. Get up early and go and do it, because it's meant to be amazing. Behind here, it's been, this used to be the old enclosures. As you can see, they're not using it now. It wasn't very big, was it? So, but they have built this bad boy. This is, another, this is the tiger, this is part of the tiger enclosure. The other bit we've seen previously, as you can see, this is all closed. So obviously we're working on, or they've moved, actually moved it to the other enclosure. What's going to go in here, guys? I don't know, unfortunately, yet. I have no idea. So I'm hoping you can get in. I don't think you can. No, still not open. Let's see what the sign says. That's annoying. So it's not open. They moved in three weeks ago, maybe. Um, the indoor viewing is closed, but they let people on the outdoor viewing. I want to see if I can get up to the wildlife zebra section where I used to be the zebra. I didn't have a lot. One thing I didn't notice though, right? You know the lanterns the Edinburgh Zoo did? I think I missed one because it's still here. Hmm. Interesting. And there's one there as well. Let's do with the pandas. Maybe. But you can't actually see in because of put bamboo. They moved him. He was down by the panda enclosure. Along. So I want to see if I get up onto the zebra section. Zebra planes. Ah, oh, you can go up there. I can't. Let's have a look. It's very steep though. And my feet are sore. Okay. So, okay. This bit's new. This is quite cool. So compared to the old enclosure, this one is massive. So does that mean they get to keep them? Because they've put a lot of money into this. A lot of, lot of money. Doors are closed at the minute. Hmm. This enclosure is like 100 times as big as the old one. So it's all I've shown you. All of this. And you swing around, it goes up the hill slightly. It's all of this under the tree. It's massive. Bamboo on the... So 
So you can get up there as well. Okay, this is the old Zebra Plains viewing platform where the Zebras used to be. So it's a massive enclosure. So they could be anywhere if they're outside. But I think they're inside at the minute because the door's closed. Right, so they are inside, I think, guys. I did get an email last week saying they will release them every so often. Just get used to it. They are closed. It's a brand new house. Massive enclosure. Well done, Zephyr, for doing it. Well done, indeed. Alright, guys, now they've finished building this big panda enclosure, the zebras are back. Oh. Currently, they're sitting in the shade. There he is, look. There's one, guys. There's the other. To be honest, because they're streaming the rear, I think I'll be under the fence. So, a minute ago, I was down here, right? Hey, this, this is still the plan enclosure, look. It is so much better for them. I wonder if it's going to be one enclosure or whether there's going to be two separate ones like it was before. I think now they'll give them one. So what the noise, they are streaming, they are getting the grass ready and the other enclosure ready for the zebras which you've just seen underneath the fence, underneath the walkway. So yeah, this is, this is still the zebra bit, look. And this bit in the middle is where obviously the keepers can walk if they need to. Here. He's currently cutting the grass with his lawnmower. But it is so much better for them. Well done, Adam Mazur. And I've said it before, but well, well done. And there they are, guys. You can just see them, look. Look at the finger. Here, underneath. Three zebras. Looks like a baby zebra. That's quite cool. There he is, having some grass. Mr. Zebra. Mr. Zebra. He's cute. Oh, no, go away. Okay, I'm disappointed the pandas weren't out. Okay, but the enclosure is amazing. Absolutely amazing. So my next thing I'm gonna do is gonna go see if the new bird enclosure is open, which is down by the Birds of Paradise. Well, it used to be the Birds of Paradise. Um, and the chimp enclosure, all down that bit. So let's go and see if that section's open. Guys, walking through Wallaby Walkway. Love this section. I'm here. He's there. Me. Him. Just sitting in the sunshine. And if you get a bit further, look at that. He's just sitting there. Look. You might not see him because the sunshine, guys. But hello, little man. There he is. He's very alert. I'm going to try and get into the koala enclosure before it gets too busy. Now, I've vlogged the koalas, but I can't talk because it's meant to be quiet only if the kids stop making noise. He's in the tree. Yes. It's so peaceful.
I do love the, the uh, enclosure for the koalas. So peaceful, so quiet. So I want to get to steps I was on earlier, but I don't know where it is. Maybe it's these ones. I think it is. Right. So do you want to take a few more pictures? I'm going to go and see the new enclosure for the birds. See if that's open. If it's not Adam is here well, I'm really disappointed. And then I don't know. I'm from, I'm lost in the zoo. That's never good. Yeah, I don't know where I am. Oh, no, I do. <laughs> Panic over. <gasps> I've got lost in the zoo. I've never seen this enclosure before. It's a uh, Bin Tua, Tuang, Tuang. Trying to find them is going to be fun. It's massive. And this is a dwarf mongoose. Oh, there he is. He wasn't very hard to find. He's cute. I like him. So, I think that would be able to find him, guys. He's actually in his house. Bin to Tuang? Bin Tuang? No idea. He looks very cosy, though. This one's a sturgeon. Four builders, 280 hours, 89,000 bucks. I think I underestimated the size of the orca. AKA the killer whale. Hmm. All right, guys. I was going to go to the new bird enclosure, but I came down the wrong way. <laughs> and it's, I'm not going to walk back, back up a hill today because it's five past 11 and it's 23 degrees. <laughs> yeah, I think I've done for what I wanted to do today. So now I am going to go home. I might cut the grass, do a load of washing, Get out of my line because it's beautiful and chill out. Um, but remember, please remember to comment on the size and well, the, the, the amount of bricks that are in the orca. I have just taken a picture of it as well. So what I'll do, I want to get that picture put in for you right now. Um, my original guess was 200,000. Seeing the other Lego creatures, I'm going to guess close to 500, but See what you think, um, and let me know, guys. Please comment below. And oh, thank you for subscribing recently. We've hit over 320 subscribers, which is quite cool because we only started last year. If you guys want to see us anything, you know, please comment below on what you want us to do. Send us messages. Whatever you want us to do, we'll do. As long as I can get there when I'm on my day off or when, when Ashley's with me on our days off for the weekend. But for now, it's bye from me. Thanks again. Bye-bye.